guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Land Rover of Clearwater, of course in Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have the 2020 Land Rover Range Rover Velar. Let's talk a little bit about Land Rover. Land Rover, that iconic British brand creating SUVs before SUVs was really a thing that were so off-road capable. Now, yes, today Land Rover, just like Jaguar, is not owned by a British company. They're owned by a company based out of India. But one thing is for sure, underneath all that sheet metal is that heritage, is that tradition, and definitely a vehicle that is off-road capable, more so than you would think. What I love about the Velar is it's wrapped in this beautiful body, but underneath all that sheet metal are the inner workings from the past with some very capable all-wheel drive. But why don't we go ahead, dive into this 2020 Velar and check out what's going on. So right off the bat, the one thing I love about it is that you know that it's a Land Rover Range Rover. I like what they're doing with a very unique brand recognizable headlight design, full LED lighting. You can see the daytime running lamps, all LED. As we drop down this massive front fascia, it looks so aggressive, so muscular. As we drop down, I am gonna zonk it. There is some fake vents here. Not liking that, but what I am liking is this copper color that's been added. I wish they would have put that a couple more places because it really adds a nice splash of color. Now, as we work across the front, you can see just how massive the front fascia is. The way that the grill is kind of pinched together really fits it well. You got that Land Rover badge, that British green color, so iconic from England. And then we have the Range, Ro uh, Range Rover emblems across the hood. Here's where I zonk this. I don't like these emblems. Uh, it's almost like you could just peel them off. I wish that they were sort of like embossed into the actual sheet metal of the hood. But what I do like is this very unique design. And even down here, it's like they, they miniaturized the, the shape and brought it to the lower grill area. You have a little bit of gunmetal gray across this lip spoiler area, but very, very clean and a good amount of ground clearance as well. Now, when we pop up onto the hood, very distinct body lines. You have one that runs on this corner, one on that corner, and then another thing that I really love is the unique style where we have the Range Rover badging here with a little bit of that copper color. What I wish is, I wish this was a functional heat extractor. Now we're talking the business, but from a look standpoint, it really kind of brightens up the hood, which overall, besides the two body lines, could be bland, but that really adds that extra touch. Now, when we come around the fender, I like the way there's no flat black, no plastic, none of that. Very, very nice wide open fender, Wheels, these are optional wheels. So this is a split spoke, 22 inch wheel. Love the design. This metallic silver is working perfect with the black. You can see how large just the standard calipers are on this Velar with the fully ventilated disc. If you're wondering, well, what is the size of this tire? It's a 265 on the width and then a 40 series on the sidewall. Hits it perfect. Now, when we go into the fender, I just want to point out, look at how the hood matches up with the fender into this um, little bit of body molding here. There's that copper color again, a little bit of gloss black, but I like the way that it's integrated from the fender to the door. And one thing I wanna point out that you may look just totally over, just gloss over it, there's a nice little R dynamic badge down here, which I'll get more into what that means. It's kind of a weird place, but I'm glad it's not any larger because then it would just kind of stick out like a sore thumb. You can see that because we have the vehicle locked, the mirrors actually turn in. You do have these smoked out LED turn single lenses. And of course, all these little uh, areas have cameras. There's cameras all over this thing. And we'll show you that once we get to the interior. When the vehicle is locked, all four door handles are nice and flush to the door, which is great. You push it and there it is. They pop out and the mirrors kind of slap back into place. Very nicely done very clean along the lower belt line. And you can see the amount of ground clearance. Like I said, this thing with all wheel drive is more capable than you think. One of my favorite parts about the Velar is that there's no roof rack on top. It's nice, smooth. You have, this one has the full glass roof, which is a very nice touch. And then coming towards the rear, very, very strong body line that runs down the whole top portion of the door and a very strong indentation, the whole width of the length almost of the vehicle. When you look, I like the way the quarter windows are kind of like inset from the rear pillar rather than the glass coming all the way to the edge of the pillar. But then coming around back, 
very, very low uh, roof spoiler. It's got a nice design to it. That cleared out LED third brake light is kind of snuck away, tucked away in there. You're gonna have your windshield wiper, which kind of drops down. I love the clean look. That's one thing, especially on the back of a Land Rover Range Rover, the clean look. You do have the emblems, which I am gonna zonk. I don't really like that. I wish they would emboss that, but love the Land Rover badge. And I think one of my favorite parts is this rear exhaust area. Now these exhaust outlets are for uh, decorative purposes, but there's functional piping located right within it. Cool looking diffuser. And then look at how much ground clearance we're talking about here. This thing is gonna surprise you. And I really like the addition of the silver. This Velar, like we talked about, has some extras. This is gonna be the P340S, and that's gonna come with that supercharged S supercharged power. Speaking of the supercharged power, let's go open up the hood and check it out. All right, guys, we got the hood popped on this Velar underneath that hood. Like I promised you, you are looking at a three liter V6. You're talking supercharged power. So we're looking at 340 horsepower, 332 pound feet of torque. It's all routed through an eight speed automatic transmission to that all wheel drive. Now this Velar weighs about 4,471 pounds, but with that supercharged fun, zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds, and it has towing capability of around 7,700 pounds. Very nice to see the power with the performance and just like I said, that Land Rover name. But why don't we go ahead, we check down underneath the hood. We have the plastic cover here. It doesn't look like a trash can lid, which I'm happy to say. I, I wish it had a little bit more pizzazz, but while we get to the better part, let's fire this up and see what this supercharged V6 sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Range Rover Velar. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this one has the R Dynamic package on it. So that's going to be a combination of exterior and interior touches out front. There's some different features to the front fascia, out back, that whole lower rear diffuser area where the exhaust, the decorative exhaust tips were, that also has been changed. And then there's some interior updates as well. Now, what you're probably wondering is, well, how much is this? What is the MSRP on this Velar with the supercharged engine? You're looking around $77,000. That's with the optional 22 inch wheels, our dynamic package, glass roof, and some other touches. But let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels, I love what's going on there. There's a nice breakup of just plain dark. You have the white leather, which looks very nice. I know over time it's gonna be harder to clean, the zonk for me is that armrest. It's as hard as a British rock for sure. But what I do like, and I think that is cool, I like the way it's kind of etched out where your arm goes on that very hard armrest. At the top of the door panel, soft material. And then if you notice on the white material right below that, there's a nice, almost like pleated design to it. Really tasteful touch. And then of course, the brushed aluminum speaker covers both in the middle and the bottom, I guess if I'm gonna be really picky, they should match. They're two different styles of speaker cover, which I don't get that, but I am gonna zonk it. Soft material on the dash, there's more of that nice textured material. A Little bit of gloss black. I like the way they take the brushed aluminum look and bring it into the AC vents. This is push button start stop, obviously, and it's kind of located in a, in a weird area where you kind of have to go around the steering wheel, but this is a very nice touch. So this is a 10 inch infotainment system screen horizontal of course you have your navigation very easy to get to we could go back to home you got your media and everything else what's really interesting is you could actually adjust the tilt of the screen so as i hit that subtract button i'm actually making it flat and then you could bring it back up so that's really kind of nice to cater it to whatever angle you want and kind of to fight the glare from the sun now one thing that's really awesome about this velar is you are going to get multiple camera views now since we have the doors open it takes some of that view away but you have the 360 view we could go out front out back and everything else real easy to use and then of course you go right back to home and there's our navigation now 
as we drop down, it still blows my mind every time I see this. You have another info system here that allows you to adjust everything from your AC controls. And what's really cool is, is watch this. So this is obviously adjusting the temperature, but let's say we wanna adjust the blower speed. You're gonna hit this, and then now you're adjusting the actual blower speed. Crazy, crazy touch. We go into seats. I got the seat, uh, ventilated seats on. Of course, you could go heated seats. You hit vehicle. There's a sexy looking Velar. I wish it actually showed the one that you have. That would be pretty cool. But you could go into your different modes that they have. Like I said, this thing is going to surprise you. I mean, there's a mud ruts program. That's how off-road capable you keep going through the choices. And I like the way it shows the difference in the terrain. Also, you, of course, can then adjust different settings to the height of your Velar, which is a very nice touch. Or we could go right back to the dynamic program select. We keep working our way down. There's a lot of gloss black. This controls that eight speed automatic transmission. Watch this, I love little touches. So you wanna open this up, you actually hit the Land Rover button here. There's your cup holder. There's a second cup holder here. And then if you have a square cup, like if you're drinking coconut water, here is where you would put your coconut water. Key fob, pretty good looking key fob. I like the Range Rover uh, embossed there. And then on the back, there's all your buttons for uh, every feature that you could think of, which is very nice. We can put that right back in our coconut water bottle. And then, of course, we're gonna have the Bombay doors that lift up. You could do them individually, or you could do one, two, three, pull. Nice belt lining, 12 volts. You got two USBs. You're not gonna scratch your iPhone 16 by putting it in there, which is a nice touch. Kind of weird how it's split like that, but I guess you could be like, hey, I'm gonna squeeze into this one and not bother your passenger. Who wants to bother the pen now? Our dynamic, there was some touches. I do like the seats on the interior with the setup on this Velar R dynamic. Nice Alcantara suede material, contrast stitching, very, very uh, firm but supportive. It really is, it's not like sitting on a rock, but they are a little harder than seats that you would be used to in an SUV style vehicle. Fully electric assist for both the passenger and the driver. And then of course, this massive glass roof really allows the sun to come in and gives it just an overall nice fancy touch. Even the auto dimming mirror that's frameless, really, really great look to it. And then of course, you could go through different selections to bring up your uh, camera out back, which is a nice touch as well. But why don't you get on behind the business and the wheel here, and I'll show you behind the action of this Velar. All right, guys, business end behind the wheel. You do have three memory settings for the driver's side, which is a really, really nice touch. And then here's where all your electric assist is gonna be. You can see the nice R dynamic um, brushed aluminum plating down here, which is a nice touch. You got bolstering, you got all the different controls to really fit the contour lines of your body with this seat. Steering wheel, Range Rover has some of the most unique steering wheels. I do like the thickness. There's a little bit of silver trim that goes around the whole um, area of the wheel. And then there's some brushed aluminum here. Very, very unique buttons. These buttons actually have uh, an interesting touch to them and you could adjust a plethora of information. You could get into all your driver assistance, um, turning things on and off. And then this one has the analog gauge set up with an analog speedometer, analog te uh, tachometer, the TFT display, very, very clear, which is really, really nice and uh, so easy to use. Seating position, let me go ahead and tilt this a little bit back, but I got plenty of headroom. Feels really good up here. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like this 2020 Velar. All right, guys, back seat time in the 2020 Velar. Lots of space. I mean, even with the glass roof, that's one thing I like about Land Rovers and Range Rovers is their overall squared shape to them. Even though this one has a nice flow, still the roof line is just gives you so much headroom and space in here. You can see the nice leather. You're gonna have some felt line pockets in there for your magazines or your iPad. You have your rear AC vents. I am a little let down by this. This is not as sexy as the rest of this interior. So this to me is a zonk. I wish they would have done something with this, but you do have heated seats and then just one little lonely 12 volt. So I guess you and your passengers are gonna have to fight. No USB. That blows my mind that in a 77,000 Velar, I gotta go to Target or Walmart and buy an adapter 
that's USB capable. Now this does have reclining seats and there's a button over here. I had to make sure that I was hitting it rather than just hitting dead empty space, but you could actually tilt the seat back. It's a little slow, but another little fine touch so that you don't have to use those pesky manual controls. Flip down the armrest, that one is an electric. Nice, softly. Now why can't they put this on the armrest up there? Or this armrest, those are like hard as a rock, but at least being a passenger in a Velar, you get the softer armrest. Two cup holders, real simple. Other than that, I love the style of the leather. It's just, we all know that if you have kids, these are gonna get dirty. They just are. Maybe make them earn their allowance and have them clean your Velar. But let's go ahead, check out the cargo area and see how much space we have. All right, guys, time to check out the rear cargo area. We hit the button. It actually has a nice quick release. The only thing you might wanna be aware of is how high this bumper is off the ground when you're getting things in and out. Lots of space though. You can see with all the things that this one's been optioned with from Land Rover. Of course, you have to have your Land Rover handbags. These come uh, optioned with this, with this uh, Velar. But uh, no, all joking aside, there's lots of room back here. Here's the Zonk. Are you ready for this? This is where I'm zonking the back. So if you want to fold the seat down, there's no buttons or anything back there. You actually have to come and do this the good old-fashioned way. So you do have electric reclining, but the good old-fashioned way of putting the seats down. But once the seats go down, they fold pretty flat, not totally flat, and it just opens up the amount of room back here. But while we go ahead, let's get to the best part of any Radies Rides review. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Velar for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Velar. Really, really awesome seating position. And once again, just like a, on a lot of other Land Rovers and Range Rovers, when you first get into it, you think the seats are just gonna be the most uncomfortable ride, but they're actually really, really supportive, but yet they got a great shape to them to where it feels good as you're driving down the road. It's kind of crazy. You, you think you're gonna sit uh, like on a piece of, a slab of cement, but it actually is really, really nice in here. I love the colors. When you're driving down the road, this lighter, uh, white color just really goes well with the other dark materials on this particular Velar. I wish that it had the full TFT display, that nice 12 inch display, but um, you know, other than that, it still has a lot of nice touches and of course that supercharged V6, uh, which is a lot of fun. And once we get through some of this traffic, we will, uh, we will open up. But let me go ahead and get on the loud pedal here. Get on throttle. We're off and running, I'm telling you. It definitely has some get up and go, really smooth power delivery. That's the wonderful thing about a supercharger is that it's gonna give you that instant power right away. We're not waiting for boosts to build up or anything like that. Turn in is great, good feedback. And then of course, that all wheel drive system just keeps you so planted that you're never gonna have to worry about losing traction, at least on asphalt. Then you wanna take this off-roading, you are able to do that. Now, MPGs in the city, you're looking around 19 in the city, um, which is fairly reasonable for a supercharged V6. But let's go ahead and see how she handles. There we go, we get on that loud pedal, on the brakes. Even though nothing fancy like Brembo's or anything like that, still good feedback. Turning is nice, on throttle. Really smooth, really smooth. I like the way that the suspension, it obviously is going to flex when you're going off-road, but you know what? It kept fairly flat, even going into that sharp right-hand turn, which is surprising. You could raise and lower the height of the Velar, which is also nice as well. That's gonna change the dynamics of how it drives, um, but uh, overall quite impressed. The view out over the hood is impressive. And the only thing that's a zonk view-wise is gonna be that back window. Uh, you definitely wanna have checked off in that option box, uh, Land Rover's clear sight, so that you could see out the back window. Because if you have somebody who has a head, then you're not gonna be able to see anything. If they're sitting in the middle, you're gonna need to either decapitate them or have clear sight, one or the other. It's, it's really up to you, whatever is best for you. But very, very smooth, the controls are great. Once you 
play around with these switches and buttons, you'll, you'll figure it out. I remember the first time I got into a Land Rover, Range Rover, I was like, what is going on with this infotainment system and this other piece of the puzzle here? But it's actually quite easy to navigate through um, and just so clean and elegant. When it comes to glare though, the gloss black is gonna be a problem. But the best part is, is that the infotainment screen, you can adjust, which is gonna make it uh, nice for you. Right, guys, pulling away from this light, we'll wait for that, wait for that velocity to kind of zoom off. On throttle, in the turn, traction is down. Not a, not even a hint of any kind of spin or anything like that. So that is how good the traction is on asphalt. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish that Florida had something bigger than an uh, ant mound that I could show you the off-road capabilities of this Velar. Cause I'm telling you right now, it's like going hiking in a tux. That's how I look at Land Rover. It's like going rock climbing, wearing a suit. They look really elegant, very classy on the outside, but boy, I'm telling you, they could get down and dirty with the best of them. I think another thing that I just realized that I like about driving this Velar is that I don't feel cramped. You know, even though things are close, even though the center console is high, I don't feel cramped. And I and I think a lot of that has to do with the glass roof is definitely allowing it to feel more open and airy in here. But hopefully this gave you a nice overview of what the Velar is all about. We're going to go ahead and get back to Land Rover or Clearwater and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a British second. All right, guys, been another amazing day here at Land Rover Clearwater. I definitely got to thank Chris, Phil, and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2020 Velar. You know what? You have options. If you're looking at that top level premium SUV market, we talked about the competitors, the Q5 from Audi, the GLC series from Mercedes-Benz and the Porsche Macan. Range Rover is bringing you another choice. And remember, there's different ways that you could option this out, even with different engine options if you don't want the supercharged V6. But if it's SUVs like these you wanna keep seeing on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, Click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it out to Big Guns McGee. He's loving this Range Rover. He's actually thinking about moving to England. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work, and I wish you well on your travel back to England. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.